Hello, my community. Hello, Hatation community. How is everyone feeling today? So this is like week two of your self-compassion challenge. So how are you doing? From the feedback that I've seen, it seems like a lot of you are going strong and really truly cultivating this self-compassionate relationship with yourself and sharing with the community so i want to say a heartfelt thank you um i've learned so much just uh you know living vicariously through your experience so thank you so much as well so here please help me to welcome and uh, my partner in self-compassion hi priya hi hi joy how are you feeling i'm good i'm good <laughs> In a good day, good productive day. Okay, nice. Well, that's yeah. good. Okay, so today we, after um, some trials and tribulation, we finally made it here with our yes. very special guest. And uh, so let's all welcome Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi. 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 Good. You, so you're looking really awesome today, like with your printed top it really suit you so much wow thank you <laughs> so okay so before we jump straight into your sharing session i thought it nice for uh, for us to just be reminded again what are the what what exactly is self-compassion and what are the three elements core elements that make up self-compassion according to dr christine Na. So here, when it comes to self-compassion, we are referring to um, the ability to extend to yourself in instances where you feel that you're inadequate, where you're feel, failing in some way, or you're just generally suffering, being able to extend that compassion and care and concern to yourself the way you would to another person or to a close one. And Christine Nuff has uh, broken down self-compassion into three core elements. And these three elements are mindfulness, self-kindness, and common humanity. Self-kindness means that we have the ability to be gentle and understanding with ourselves rather than being harsh, critical, and judgmental. And also recognizing in our common humanity feeling connected with others in the experience of life and, uh, if I may say, in the experience of suffering rather than feeling isolated and alienated by your suffering. In your suffering, being able to have the ability to extract yourself out of your experience and to remind yourself that everyone suffered. That is the condition of humanity and um, for me personally there has been a very powerful bump because you can get sucked into that black hole where you think that only you yourself suffer and that is really a bad and dangerous place to be in and the third and final component of self-compassion is mindfulness being able to hold our experience in balanced awareness being neutral about it we are not ignoring our pain suppressing the pain neither are we exaggerating it seeing reality as it is and my favorite quote from brian katie is you know loving what is what is in the moment being able to accept it doesn't mean you like it or not but being able to just hold it in uh, balance awareness so there you have it that's the three components of self-compassion self-kindness common humanity and mindfulness so with that i think we are ready to jump straight into ashley experience of cultivating self-compassion so ashley are you ready to share yes i am okay <laughs> so uh, what was uh, your goal when you decided to start on this self-compassion challenge with us uh, it has been a long time um, interest uh, in uh, seeking this kind of uh, help. Uh, I, I would like to call it help because um, while my mom was uh, going through uh, health issues and when I had to become a caregiver, uh, I had a lot of uh, mixed feelings. Uh, why is it me uh, and uh, how do I overcome it? So when uh, I saw this uh, self-compassion uh, uh, telecast that you guys are planning to do, so it actually excited me to uh, be part of it. Mm. 
Okay, in case you're wondering where is uh, missing Dr. Priya, don't worry. Uh, she's having some challenge through for the internet. She will come back when she come back. So in the meantime, we'll yeah. just continue. Yeah, so, we... so you mentioned that um, this is um, cultivating self-compassion is an area that you were interested in for some time already. And so you saw this as an opportunity to dive into it. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Uh, knowing, unknowingly, I was already practicing it. So when I saw Priya uh, posted this uh, challenge, so it was very, very exciting because what I feel is there's a lot of people who are actually silent in suffering, mm -hmm. not able to express. And uh, when my mom passed away uh, last January 15th, uh, I was going through some kind of... Uh, trauma uh, so I was always telling my uh, friend you know there should be some kind of support or help so when I saw this uh, it was very 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 exciting actually and when Priya asked I didn't say no it was immediate yes I said I will help to participate and share whatever I can uh, <laughs> it, will be, it will be helpful to others who are not able to express or uh, share it out openly yeah that's very very kind of you it's like i'm so glad that you're on board you know um yeah and um we have known each other literally all our lives so um, <laughs> i heard it seven years old wow okay, yeah. i'm not gonna ask i'm not gonna yeah. okay. um so i think i um we have seen you grow um throughout all these years through your good and you know not so good moments as well and um thank you for sharing about your mom I, I was there when you know when i think i was one of the first few to know that your mom uh passed on and um it was it was quite a shocker because i mean we grew up knowing your mom obviously so um so i decided so when we were uh, crafting this whole program and um I just shot out a message to like a lot of people. And um, I think the ones which were very close to my heart and um, that will be, of course, um, Sarah Mai as well will be sharing with us later on in the week. And then you and a few others who, you know, I felt really could need that, that support system. Okay. Um, even though it's from an online platform, but I think we all are very strong when we showcase, showcase this out online. So, um, thank you for, for signing up. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, you know, and thank you for giving yourself the chance to know yourself better and, you know, adapt self-compassion um, and joy and happiness because it's been, I know it's been not easy for you this um, past two months. So for that, I, I welcome you and I, and I thank you, you know, for being part of this. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Well, I'm already loving this uh, warm and fuzzy feeling that uh, is in this moment right now, which I normally experience only like maybe in the middle of the session or towards the end. And I'm already <laughs> experiencing it like uh, at the start of this session. So I'm loving that. And I also feel very inspired that actually uh, when, I, when I asked you what it was your goal, and then you said that it's, it's very exciting to be able to do this because the reality is not many people will use that word and you know exciting is a very strong word it has it is very energetic and um not many people will use that word when it comes to self-compassion they either have a puzzlement around it avoidance around it but um to use the word exciting uh, quite rare so i feel like um, it's so awesome to be able to bring you on the show to share your experience because i think you are emulating exactly the right energy that you know we we can have more around you know like cons you actually consider cultivating self-compassion exciting so like i love that uh yes uh, well, uh one of the reason why uh, i use word exciting is uh from what i see i hear and with my past experience it, it seems like an it's a difficult task uh however if we are able to look at the solution point of view, then the experience itself becomes exciting. So that's why I use it. Amazing. Like, 
loving your attitude. So how has the experience been so far, Ashley, for you being so intentional about cultivating a compassionate relationship with yourself? Um, what I was experiencing is uh, at one point I was actually drowning. I was blaming myself a lot. Or if I was not blaming myself, I was blaming others. And at that point, uh, I knew that I was not going anywhere. I was either, uh, it, the situation was just worsening. And at one point, I had to make a decision. And at that decision, the point of making the decision, it was to come out from the whole scenario. And that's when uh, I started taking responsibility towards my action. Uh, there, were point, uh, there was a point in my life where um, I, I, I felt cheated, I felt, uh, oh, I felt bad, uh, I was not able to recover, there were points in my life where I was like so uh, depressed for almost six months until my friends has to tell me like, I think you need to go and see a psychiatrist or something like that. So at that point, it re really hit me really hard. I was like, oh my god, what am I doing to myself? And that that's how I I I uh, I I was seeking uh, a way out of it, but I didn't know how to do it. So and I didn't know how to ask help. I think that's one of the biggest challenge as well. And um, being a very independent person, so I I try to self heal. So some of the ways is uh, to find small solutions or simple solutions. Uh, I, I will I will prioritize my thoughts. Meaning, which um, earlier in in my life I thought sad and being happy is two different things. Is then I realized it's actually one. Uh, it's an it's an experience of high and low. So when I started making simpler understanding of that uh, process, it actually became easier for me to uh, make the uh, easier decisions. That's how I developed. It. Uh, attitude or this uh, uh, lifestyle change of uh, uh, being uh, more mindful and more aware of what I'm doing, taking responsibility and making small at a time adjustments or uh, 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 growth, uh, the growth phase. Yeah, that's how I did it. So it's definitely achievable. This is the point that I really want to stress. Uh, most of the people I see, they think they cannot come out of it, but actually they can. So it is very, 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 very possible. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for those wonderful words of wisdom. So inspirational. Um, you know, as, as I could... I could have so many, I have so many synonyms for you when it comes to the word inspirational. Um, I've learned so much from you over the years, knowing you as a friend. So, um, you know, the things that you do, it's um, it's mind blowing. And um, I, I know that sometimes you do feel, um, you do have low points and, you know, it takes you to a place where you uh, find it hard to seek help and um, all that. But, um, deep inside of you, I think you are so strong. I mean, you you are stronger than a lot of people I know. And um, I feel that the way you look at things and your perspective is very unique. Um, you know, some people just have a power of just getting themselves out of a very tough or very, you know, um, hard situation. And I think you're just one of those amazing, incredible people who you know, can somehow save yourself from any kind of situation someone puts you in. I mean, the word you used there just now was independent. And independent defines you, is you. You know, so I think that independence alone is the one that, you know, got you to where you are. And I think you're going to have many, many wonderful years ahead, you know, doing just brilliant things. So, yes, thank you for sharing. It's, it's just like you are always and always will be an inspiration, you know, so... <laughs> I think I have to uh, be very thankful to my mom. Uh, being a caregiver actually uh, helped me learn about myself. Uh, uh, it was a mirror 
uh, and I was so confused what was actually happening to my mom. And uh, when everyone else was giving up, I refused to give up on her. And uh, there were points where you know friends, family suggested me to put her in a home. And I, I, I refused till the end. I refused to do that. Uh, I, uh, because it is so challenging. I had to give up uh, my career. Uh, uh, basically, I lost my job because of, I took too many leaves, and it was like in and out of hospitals, and uh, it was so challenging. And I wanted to give her that kind of attention and love, which I think is very important uh, for anyone. Who's experiencing uh, depression? There are different levels of depression. I am not so good in explaining it in uh, the medical point of view. I think uh, Dr. Priya would be able to do it better. But when I was in the hospital with her, when she was admitted for uh, three over months, and even before that, we were so um, undecided whether we should send her to the psychiatric ward or not. There was a lot of uh, mind blocks, unnecessary mind blocks. Actually, I think. This is the biggest challenge. Either it's for the individual or the family or the caregiver uh, to decide on the final point. Um, yeah. So when when I when we were in the hospital, I, I saw so many uh, different level of emotions. Uh, there are people who needed the support, but there was no one to give them the care or the love, the attention. Uh, there were points where I saw family members who were so irritated because they have to send that patient for that regular ECT and so on. And here I was thinking, oh, should I go back to work? Or should I leave my mom in the hospital? Or should I put her in a, a home care? So, you know, there's so many things are surrounding. Then when I looked at it in a simpler point of view, uh, my, giving care to my mom actually helped me build myself. Uh, I started understanding uh, emotions better. My choices of word changed. Earlier, before I knew my mom was going through this, I think I was more the aggressive person who was like, you know, always in a state of angry and like, what's happening to me? Why is it always like this to me, you know? Every time I wanted to go to, you know, some uh, overseas trip or something, there's so many blocks because I have to like be there constantly for that. And then there's like this guilt. So I learned how to let go the guilt feeling. I learned how to take the role, uh, play the role well. Uh, time management was also very important. And uh, yeah, when uh, the choices of what changed, the whole scenario also started healing. Yeah, and uh, I, I felt lesser. Um, it can be burden for some people, maybe because work is affected, other your leisure time is affected, your friend time, or you know, it, it, you you can't go out as much as you want. All this would be affected. But uh, I learned how to manage my time. I learned how to move around uh, with my mom next to me, and I started building my business as well because I couldn't go to work anymore. So I was like, okay, how do I, how do I face this challenge? I got bills to pay. I got, I got to take care of myself. And like, then I was like, you know, I will plan my, uh, my day from morning until noon. Everything I'll do for her. Then I will uh, move on to take care of myself, my business. I, will, I have developed business, uh, online business, just because I couldn't go out and work. So there are ways. It's just that how we look at it. Are we looking at it as a easy? Are we looking at it uh, it as a um, difficult or not able to do? So if it's not able to do, what is the plan? How are we going to restructure or uh, re-strategize the plan? What's the roadmap? So a lot of planning definitely need to be done to come to this stage of uh, being compassionate by yourself, the self-love. It is only you can only achieve this if there is proper understanding of the problem, proper planning, time management. And of course, when you start loving yourself more, I think you can give more love to the other person as well. 
I like the thank structure. you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ashley, for sharing. You shared so much tips already and very clearly it's very evident that you are a very strong lady uh, you were suffering inside but you were able to if i may say troubleshoot at okay what's exactly is wrong what's wrong with my way of thinking how can i reframe it uh what it, what is a better way of doing this and you know solving problems for myself and taking care of other people so that's really amazing and i think like um to reinforce what i'm saying like we already have a shout out for you so here, Sarah Maya is saying you are amazing, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, so take a moment and really, I think, savor this, right? You know, all your friends are here supporting you, acknowledging your strength, acknowledging uh, your efforts to cultivate a self-compassionate relationship with yourself. I also want to say a shout out, hello to Mating. Thank you for watching us at this moment. So moving forward, so when it comes to this uh, challenge, what was the, um, what, what challenge was most uh, uh, difficult for you? What challenge stood out for you? And uh, what did you realize about yourself through the process? Uh, I wouldn't say it was difficult, but it was, um, um, it, it was more like a self-reflection. When uh, such word as mindfulness, was used, I was like, yeah, that that was the key point. You know, when I started having a self-realization of myself, that, that's when I started focusing. Uh, one of the key points that I want to stress here is, um, you know, when we feel fear or when we feel doubt about something, I don't look at it as, as negative anymore. I look at it as my uh, my uh, my inner self is tell, telling me to look at the deeper points. What is bothering me? I think acknowledging that point, what is bothering me, is very important because most people uh, they are aware what is bothering them, but they are not taking action or they are not taking the necessary. Uh, uh, way of dealing with that that very important feeling it's very important to acknowledge whatever you are feeling uh, uh, the inner feeling uh, the bad feeling especially the good feeling it will you know it will showcase by itself but the inner feeling only you can express it so giving thought to that and finding a solution for that was very important so the 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 day three i think it's mindfulness uh yeah it it, it really hit really hit me uh, strong and it reminded me to you know be more aware of myself and how i could do it better with uh, whatever dr uh, priya and uh, yourself were sharing over the days yeah and of course the uh, relaxing muscle technique was actually very uh, simple and fast very effective I think uh, if we give, uh, instead of complicating the whole whole uh, situation, I think we should apply smaller, simpler techniques to at least feel relieved, relaxed, uh, comfortable. Uh, yeah, I think it helps a lot. And uh, of course, I, I did not do what Dr. Priya suggested. Probably I was doing it differently. Uh, like slow breathing. Uh, I used to listen to vibrational, positive vibrational music. Uh, self talk. What do I tell? What do I put into my brain? What do I tell myself? It is the words that I use on myself uh, also plays an important role. And most important of all, letting go. If you are not able to solve that problem, or if you have no control of the problem. It, it is okay to let go. It is okay to lose or it's okay to uh, take a step at a time. If you can't do it today, you can do it later, tomorrow, day after, one year down the lane, 10 years down the lane. Don't worry. Give yourself the time and uh, it will help you make peace. Letting go helps you make peace with whoever have hurt you, whatever the situation, uh, sometimes we feel uh, neglected, not given that additional trust, opportunity, 
uh, these are some of the things that might affect us. But if at that point we are not able to solve that problem, it is definitely okay. Let it go. Deal with it in another day. Give it time to heal. You will get back the answer one at one point. Definitely, you will be able to move forward after that. Yeah, this is what I want to share. This uh, optimism that you have is something that you know. Um, I think should be across all boards. Um, I mean, it should resonate with everyone. Um, how op optimistic your values are, how structured you are, how you take action. Um, you know for your misdeeds or things that are going wrong for you. So you are a problem solver. You don't sit, procrastinate, and then, you know, let things take its own course. You are a problem solver. And that's exactly what we are trying to bring in this self-compassion challenge. You know, take action, be responsible for yourself, for your actions, and not the other way around. And I think, when you said that the uh, mindfulness, I think that was yours, right, Joy, third day? Yeah. <clears throat> so um, I think that is, I think, one of the, the best things to um, tell yourself that you are worth it. You, you are all that. You are good. You are, you know, it's all in positives, you know. If there's a negative coming in between, rephrase that, reframe that with a positive. Um, now, the... PMR progressive muscle relaxation that you did. Um, there was a reason, you know, why I put this in uh, into this uh, seventh day, uh, seven day challenge. And I think uh, one of the reasons was because significantly it helped me a lot. Now I used to do this a lot with patients in the cardiac rehabilitation unit. So um, it might seem very boring on the surface, you know, if you look at it in the form of a video um, on YouTube and stuff like that. But when you actually do it, and I think that's what I think most of them who said that they had very good vibes doing it. Um, when you actually do it, you actually feel a sense of calm, a sense of peace, a sense of release, a sense of healing. You know, there's just something about it that just, you know, clicks. So um, there's, there's obviously two ways to do it. And it's starting from feet up or you know head down and i chose the feet up okay because i think all our troubles start from our feet and you know as we go up you know we just want to let it all go and you know just whoosh just disappear and relax so um i'm glad that you know that worked well for you um there's no right or wrong in doing pmr it's just a technique as i as i mentioned in my video previously um you do it according to your own ability and uh, if you're having any sore areas, aches or pains, or you, or you can't, you know, um, uh, what harden your muscles in a certain, a certain area, a particular area, it's fine, okay? As long as there's some force being or pressure being applied to those areas, it's, it's more than enough. It's about, you know, taking in that tension and then releasing it out. And that's exactly what's happening with the emotional part of you and the, you know, the mental part of you, all right? And the spiritual part of you to some extent, okay? And finally, the physical part of you. So yes, it's it's good to know that, you know, you, you felt a lot of, um, what do you call that, positive vibes from the PMR, from the mindfulness challenge, um, joy stars to you, um, to everyone, in fact. So um, yeah, that's, that's a very, very nice sharing. Thanks. So day three was um, compassionate self-checked in, which um, rightfully so it is a mindfulness exercise. Um, many people have uh, given good feedback about the exercise. Like um, if I'm not wrong, May Tink mentioned that uh, it made her realize that she is not taking care of herself well physically. Like if she's thirsty, she needs to go to the toilet. She doesn't. She just sit there and continue doing her work. And she, I think it's it sounds very small, but I think it's a very important realization because it's about respecting your body, which is a part of who you are. And uh, because of the exercise, she realized, oh, I, I tend to do this. So because um, I think it came at a time when I was sending the broadcast message and she read it and then she, she realized she need, she was thirsty. She needed water. She got up and she went to give herself a glass of water. And I love that story because it sounds so simple, but um, 
the self love is simple, but it we we make it so complicated in our mind because we're complex creatures as human being. Um, sometimes that's to our disadvantage. And she realized, I'm thirsty. I let me go get a drink, right? So she decided to do that and it was I, I thought a beautiful self-awareness piece for her so i'm really glad that actually that that part was helpful for you as well i know that part that exercise was challenging for eileen eileen had a difficult time with the exercise i think it doesn't matter whether it's simple or difficult the, the point is it's the self-awareness piece right whether it's simple or difficult it was difficult for her because she realized the way she was talking to herself she was blaming herself for certain of the personal challenges that she had no control over but she was blaming herself and again that that task gave her that realization so i really love how it's the same task but it, the realizations are so different for everyone it's so amazing so i'm like always amazed uh, listening to the feedback that we get every night and I feel like I've grown so much because of all your sharing. Um, so amazing to be able to do this individually yet collectively at the same time. It's just something beautiful about it. And I also uh, love how you appreciate the progressive muscle relaxation. That's a very effective uh, technique and you're so right, Ashley. It's about the small, simple techniques that we can activate in that moment. And uh, that's actually, uh, I love that you say that because actually at the core of it, that's what the hartation training is about. Giving you little tips, what you can do, what are the different stuff you can do with your breathing, with your posture, with your self-talk. Little things, but it does make a difference. It can help you in that very moment where you need that kind of self-care and attention to yourself. But you might be aware, then the next piece is how. You know, you, you can move to that stage. Okay, now I'm aware, but I don't know what to do. So that's also um, uh, might become a frustrating space. So in the hartation space, that's where we want to teach you simple technique. Oh, I can do breathing. I can do tapping. I can, you know, reframe my self-talk. I can uh, reframe my emotion. So these are all real technique and they're actually all very simple, but uh, a lot of people are not aware. And that's why um, that is kind of the vision for hartation to be able to bring this to people so that they can take care of themselves you know, it's not everyone that have the luxury or the budget to seek professional help. But, you know, in a challenging time like that, we really need to take our self-care um, technique seriously because this is something that we can share for our loved ones and for our children as well. So I think muscle relaxation is a very simple technique that anyone can activate. Uh, it is a very effective technique. In fact, uh, for when I did my MBSR, my mindfulness-based stress reduction, we had to do body scan and it's a 40-minute body scan. It's not 10 or 15, 40-minute body scan. We had to do it as a homework every day. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's almost like a burn into my system right now because I had to do the 40 minutes body scan every day as my homework when I was doing training for mindfulness. So clearly it's very effective. That's why, you know, in, in our training course, we were asked to do that. So what was most uh, interesting and insightful for you, Ashley, doing this challenge? Yeah, uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, uh, first of all, I have to say congratulations to the team for coming up with the uh, uh, support system, which is very easy to follow. And um, why I say that is, um, as I mentioned earlier, I, I've seen many patients, family, caregivers, who are actually, uh, and especially, uh, you know, working adults who have to care for their elder parents. Uh, I've seen them suffering silently. Some, are not, some of them not able to express it. Uh, there was one point where... I couldn't take it that I, I just started talking about my problem. And uh, that is when I realized I was not the only one. And every other family or every other home has a patient or someone they have to deal with who has this kind of emotional issues or uh, depression some kind of mental health. So this is totally amazing it, it, uh, whereby, you know, there is some kind of support that people are able to reach out to. 
even though this uh, I is it a close group? I'm not sure, but I think if this grows, it's going to be a very strong message. It's going to send a very strong message to many people uh, who are not able to ask for help. This is the first struggle: asking for help. Uh, when we ask for help. Probably it might not be the best answer, but you might start getting some kind of answer, and after some point, you will be able to figure out what is good for you, what is easier for you, what is right for yourself. So, uh, or how can I heal myself? Who do I get the? Uh, how can I learn from others, and how can I apply it to myself? So, this this is something that I'm seeing the bigger picture of I'm seeing from. The program that you guys have started, uh, it's going to be very, very impactful. It's going to be, it's going to grow very fast and big. <laughs> and I hope that many people will benefit from this, uh, uh, this support system you guys have started. Yeah, that's exactly uh, um, you know why we crafted this. Um, as what Joy you mentioned, I think previously, I think just now. You said that um, you know not everyone has the budget, has the resources um, to seek um, help, self care for self care, you know, for their mental health issues, just personal self care to to reach out. You know, some people are not even aware; they suffer in silence, and so I think this community heartation is all about that. What you have done is um, actually an amazing initiative. So, um, you know, hats out to you for actually coming up with this and, um, you know, taking charge of everything and putting everything into perspective. It's it's not easy what you do. I mean, it's like I think when we first connected and we were um, and you and you told me ideas and you shared your ideas and, you know, you you are someone who foresees things, you know, way ahead of of things. So um, I think what what you plan, what your plans were and what your plans are. And I'm sure in the future, what your plans will be is, you know, it's just, just awesome beyond words. It's, um, it's helping a lot of people, you know, um, of course with me being in this, it's like, I've um, tried to pull in my contacts and Ashley's, you know, um, proof of that, you know, like got her on board here so that she can share her journey. And likewise, I would like so many other people to come in and, you know, just, just learn about themselves, just learn techniques, tools. I mean, these are all giveaways from us. And in fact, we are also learning from, from you, from, from Ashley, from other mating and uh, Eileen and, you know, uh, Cordelia, who was, who was, uh, you know, on uh, doing her challenges in February, you know, it's like, I never knew sound had so much of an impact. Uh, you know, it was, I, I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much. And, and, I've not really gone on other platforms to actually venture to this extent. So, so yes, I think, um, you know, the uh, support that, you know, you have brought into this group is just immense. Um, so I'm so glad that um, Ashley is benefiting from this. She's, you know, seeing things uh, better and it's more like a, a guiding, guiding force. At the end of the day, we obviously cannot tell you do this, do that, you know, it's like it's your choice, but I think it's just guidance from our part, and we hope that guidance is, you know, really connecting with you and, you know, making you see yourself in a more self-compassionate, more joyful, you know, more, more much more better way. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, for the love. I really appreciate it. I have to admit, uh, in the beginning, while I had the vision, there, there were. There were dark moments where I was wondering, uh, what am I doing and it, 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 is it going to be worth it? But um, it has become so worth it. We're all learning together. This community has taken a life of its own and I just sit there and marvel while I do my job. Uh, it's like everybody's baby now, not really just mine. And I love that. I think that's a, it, it cannot have a better outcome than this. Without Challenger, uh, this Hardation community is, um, it has no meaning. And without uh, collaborators who's willing to see the vision and who has a heart to come in and support me, I can't do this alone myself as as, as well. I can only go, go on for so long by myself but because I have collaborators like you, you know, um, people full of love, you know, like Cordelia and, and hopefully more like-minded experts coming in to come. Um, this 
community is going to be so exciting using Ashley Word as we grow together in mindfulness and self-compassion in everything that can empower us and other people in our community. So we are we only started it three months ago. Can you imagine? But it's pretty vibrant already, as far as I can see. Everyone's are willing to be open and vulnerable in their sharing and everyone is learning from one another as a result of that. So I want to say thank you to everyone. And you know what? I think we should all give ourselves a pat on the back. Well done for showing up. Yeah, and for acknowledging and being willing to be vulnerable and share our learning with others as well. Because sometimes we're sharing our own struggle. It doesn't sound very nice. It can even feel very ugly. But I'm amazed at the courage that's demonstrated by this community. I think in particular, Eileen, oh my gosh, sometimes I read her feedback. I just like, my heart just goes out to her. So amazing. Mm -hmm. So Ashley, moving forward, how do you intend to continue to cultivate this nurturing relationship with yourself? Sorry, uh, can you repeat that? So moving forward, how do you intend to continue to cultivate this nurturing relationship with yourself? Uh, it has become a, a everyday uh, thing for me now. Uh, it is my number one priority. Uh, I have learned how to prioritize my emotion uh, over the last three years. Yeah, I think I'm doing it better now. Because there were a point in my life where I have to decide whether I should I feel sad now or should I feel sad later. So I have to tell myself, oh no, eight o'clock cannot okay, push my sad feelings to five o'clock because I have more time than to you know deal with it. So I, I that's how I adjusted my time and at one point that the part of sadness is like you know just gone away. So uh it has helped me uh, overcome many situations, good and bad. Uh, um, so it's going to be a lifelong journey for me. So I hope to add more yeah. value to people through my sharing or experience. Or uh, I always believe there's a faster and easier and cheaper way, which is learn from others. So I'm learning from whatever I'm hearing from you guys, from all the sharing in the group. Uh, hope my my sharing will also add value to others. Yeah, I also look. To keep it simple, when it's simple, it's easier to do. The task becomes easier. So I always say, okay, let's keep it simple. Let's not go, you know make it too complicated. So yeah, that's how I plan to move on. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. Yeah, so it's just you know the the way you manage things, um, the way you manage your whole situation. Your time for sadness was pushed away. Was those, you know, hilarious as it sounds, but. You know, um, the the pain that you must have been feeling at that point of time, like, you know, pushing, literally push, pushing away your, your sad time, you know, when you're supposed to grieve for yourself and there you are like, no, 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 this is not the correct moment for me. It's, it's just it's just amazing how you actually manage that, you know, manage that emotion. Others, you know, different people manage it very differently. And um, the way you have showcased that is absolutely wonderful. The way you actually, you know, nitpick the little details and say, you know what, yeah, I need to focus on this right now. I need to focus on the positive part of things. It's not not many of us have that, um, you know, intuition or that credibility to pick, cherry pick that positive, uh, positivity, and you know, say, oh yeah, I'm going to work on this. Not not many of us have that. I mean, I'm guilty of, um, you know, um, falling prey to these kind of things where, you know, if I'm sad, I'm sad, and that's it. I don't want to get out of it, you know, but. It's it's so nice to hear when when you say things like you know when I'm sad but you know this is not the time for me to be sad I need to move on I need to manage this you know how how do I manage this and so I think um, I'm learning a lot from you as well I'm learning from you I'm learning from the other members the other participants who have um, come on this uh, on this platform you know so this is um, it's a two way thing it's a two way thing um, we learn a little bit from you of course as much as we um, design this whole uh, challenge. Yes, the idea is for us to share experiences. Okay, so it's a two-way street, um, and I think the um, response has been overwhelming. You know, as Joy contested, it's just been nothing but awesomeness. You know, good vibes from everybody. So much of sharing. So much of. You know, I don't really see it elsewhere. I mean, I mean there are so many other platforms. Yes, but you know, where this this is just a whole new level. So. 
you know and that is why i'm kind of tempted to stay on and you know do more wonderful things <laughs> things with you you know it's just it's just an addiction you know so <laughs> yes <laughs> well you know in case you're not aware joy is addictive <laughs> that's what we are uh, for sure <laughs> yeah so, so I would like to add one more point here um mm. uh, look at it at, at, as the time okay in this limited time we have to do so many things mm. we have to care for ourselves and we are also responsible to the person next to us it can be our parents spouse children if we are going to indulge in this uh, suffering it's going to take a lot of their time as well i think we should look at it at a point where you know what if i can let go this and utilize this time or not waste this time and make it into a better use why not i share my love instead of you know indulging myself into a uh, emotional struggle so find uh, uh how do they say find a um reason why you should feel good probably that it will actually help to spike up maybe it there might be like some breaks but at one point it will break through so you need a, a a reason to have that breakthrough so the breakthrough for me was my mom it was me my business so that's where i was able to actually push through and and despite whatever is happening i didn't give much thought but i just went on and on and on and on until i was able to even help my mom come out of her depression where she, uh, definitely she had the best three years of her life last three years of her life the last episode was her depression and after that she was able to come out of it and she was my partner where she used to follow me to work uh you know that's how we actually help her you know every morning she will uh, dress up make up put on uh, a nice smile she will come with me even though she, sometimes she will sleep feel sleepy i'll be consulting my client and she be sitting next to me so but we took that small step and it's a it's a it's a it's a role play whether you are a caregiver or you are silently suffering uh it's a role play you need to make that effort to move forward so i hope you guys can see the bigger picture which is there are dependents who are going to suffer because of us so we must be very very conscious of what we are telling ourselves what we are indulging in uh, you know that 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 point where we feel sad probably can be better utilized to feel happy yeah that's that's what i want Well, thank you, Ashti, for being so inspiring. You are like this phenomenal force that I'm truly glad is part of the Hartitian community. We really need more of your energy being spread around in our community. So, do you have an advice for people who is keen to start on this nurturing relationship with themselves, but for some reason they are hesitating or they are looking for some kind of encouragement? What would be your advice for them? Hmm. I believe in uh, leaving behind a strong legacy, and that legacy should be happiness. Uh, be an inspiration to others. Uh, create a great story. If we could create a sad story, that means we definitely can create a happy story. And to start both, it takes the same amount of energy and time. so you can start feeling sad now and can start feeling happy now so which is going to add more value to yourself and the other person so i think we should do it now today the action is now and today it's not later it's not tomorrow it's now so i hope everybody can give themselves please ask this question to yourself be honest to yourself ask this question to yourself are you happy and what are you doing for that how are you adding value to yourself so these are the some uh, points that we need to ask ourselves first before we can help others i think we should help ourselves first and that's how it gets started the ball gets a snowball and you know i hope we are creating a better energy 
uh, uh, I've seen so many uh, uh, shows and everything. Everyone is talking about the negative part, of, uh, the, the sad part. But what about the good part? You know, why not start sharing about the good part? And I think this platform is excellent. The focus here has been always the, the solution. I think everyone, once they start looking at the solution, things become easier. Yeah, and we got to start it as soon as possible, and it's now. Mm. Yes, thank you. Inspiration. Yeah. Inspiration. You might not only change your world, but you might be able to change one person, and it can have a compounding effect. Imagine that compounding effect how many lives you are able to inspire, change, create a spark, create the love. You know, just do it. It's it. I'm having goose. <laughs> it's it's an emo it's, it's a great feeling. It's definitely a great feeling. Oh, you that's how yeah. phenomenal <laughs> you are. Actually, like you give yourself goosebumps like you are giving all of us. So, can we have you do like a weekly hour show? Yeah. <laughs> He's just You're imagining the same thing. <laughs> if I can help, definitely, definitely. <laughs> It is, it is a process. Uh, I'm, you see, when I can smile, right? That's because I really practice it. I, I really mean it. I did it. And I came out of it. And I'm sure everyone who's having some kind of issue can come out of it. Even my mom came out of it. I mean, she was from a very negative. Everything she, she says is negative. The last one year, she has become such a positive person. At one point, I'm like, did you get on the wrong side of the bed? Are you okay? <laughs> Is this really you? <laughs> so it can happen. Only thing, you have to be honest to yourself. You've got to be, uh, you've got to take that action. Yeah, it's all about taking action. Yeah, it's like how we went to exams. We need to pass. We need to learn, you know, take the necessary steps to, you know, get things right. To pass the exam simple life also every day is an exam so are we passing that exam or not? so don't be too harsh on yourself just just take one step at a time if you can't do it it's very good you know why you're actually learning what was wrong in that process what you need to do or how you need to simplify the process in order to make it more uh, attainable or achievable so let's look at it in a uh, in an easier manner, keep it simple. Seriously, that's all the answer to it. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple, I have to nice. say, Ashley, that uh, this is the perfect top for you. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I so love that energy. Yeah, yeah. superb. Yeah, it's very powerful. I mean, it's like whatever she's saying is just so much of power so much of enthusiasm you're so passionate about what what you went through you know what you have overcome you know i can see that it's like you're just glowing it's just, there's just so much of aura about you right now you know when you're explaining things and um the tips i'm sure you're sharing with everyone listening here is just enormous there's, there's so so many take home things that we can you know actually implement uh so yeah i think you know it's um, both of us are actually keeping going <laughs> Most of the time, <laughs> and you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, um, it's just so nice to hear something uh, so positive and so vibrating, you know, uh, for a change. Um, as composed of a very, as opposed to a very chaotic life, you know, all the uncertainties, all the negativities surrounding us, and then you have like whoosh, like a whole wave of um, positivity, you know, good thoughts, good solutions, solution focused. Um, you know, um, tips that you've been giving. It's like, you know, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm speechless. So it's like, I'm just, you know, like, thank you. It's, I've learned so much from you today, you know? Yeah. Thank you, lady. Thank you, Ashley, for coming on the show. And uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed my one hour with you, as I'm sure um, Priya would feel the same. Um, please continue to stay engaged and fully participate in the community. We truly need more of your energy. Uh, it's infectious and it's, you are such a force for positivity. So thank you for coming on the show and being willing to take up this challenge. So uh, wishing you all the best in continuing and cultivating this nurturing relationship with yourself. And let's always do that together. Nobody needs to do this alone. Mm. Okay. 
So let's end our time together with the Hatitian pose. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you all for uh, watching this video. Please share and comment on what are your thoughts, what are the insights that arise for you as you listen to Ashley sharing. So thank you, our community. Catch you again. Thank you and bye. Bye. bye.